first power chord lesson what they are how to do them i think you're gonna have a good time with it also thanks for supporting the channel here marty music it's the only thing i do so thank you for supporting it i'd appreciate you uh subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell notification also if you're you know want to learn even more about power chords i have a link for a free uh entire course on power chords in the first comment so check that out thank you Let's do it. All right, a power chord is that chord you hear that's distorted on the guitar, typically the, the sound of rock, you know? <laughs> so, so it's a two note chord. It's also known as a five chord. So if I had a root, and that's how the name of the chord is found. So if I said E, an E power chord, it has an E as the root, so open E. And then it has what's called the fifth, which is a B note. Now when you hear a fifth, the notes individually, it's the first two notes of the Star Wars. You know, anywhere you play it. So the power chord, this is an E power chord, or you could call it E5, all right? And now every chord, D5, C5, C sharp five, or also power chords, you know, D power chord, A power chord, typically on a sheet of paper it would say five, like a D5. That's a D note and that fifth interval. It's called the perfect, a perfect fifth, okay? That's what a power chord is. So the easiest one to play to, to begin, I, th I think, is an E power chord. And so that's the open E string. And then the second fret on the A string. And those chords are played together, forming an E5, also an E power chord. Same thing. You want to try not to strum the other strings. Now, my index finger... The tip of it is on that second fret. But you can also let, don't think too much about it, but you're you're also gonna wanna let your index finger lightly be touching the other strings to mute them so you don't hear them ring out. So even if I strum the entire guitar, you're only hearing the root and the five. But if that's a little tricky, at least try and hear that power chord right here with the top two strings. So that's an E power chord and it's utilizing an open string. The next power chord to practice, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, uh, is an A power chord because you really don't have to learn anything new. You just have to hop over, get the open A string and the second fret of the D string. And, you know, look at your right hand and just try and strum those two strings. Now, once again, my index finger can mute the other strings. And what's a nice little trick, like I said, I don't want you to get overwhelmed with these little details. They tend to work themselves out. But your thumb can mute that E string when you're playing that A power chord. So really you're only hearing those two strings right there. My thumb's just resting, but it's enough to mute that. You're hearing this, you're hearing this, and then that's muted. Now 
Now the E power chord or E5. <laughs> So they tend to be played with the root on the E string and the A string. So if you can find your way around the notes on the E and the A string, you can play any power chord. They're all the same shape. But once you're not using the open E string, like for instance, let's go all the way up here to the 10th fret of the E string. That's a D note. So the, the, fit, the perfect fifth away is a whole step up on the next string over. So the D note and the, this A note here form a D5 chord, also known as a D power chord. So anywhere I move that shape is gonna be that root power chord. And I'm just on the E string right now. Now, I've seen students, you know, have a little bit of a challenge, a beginner, to form those power chords and have them play clean and ring out like that. Um, first, I got to tell you that you just got to repeat doing it, because if you avoid it, it'll never get better. So you just got to face it. But the frets get closer together the higher up the neck we go. So if you were to go up to, like, the double dots and play a power chord there... Your fingers don't have to stretch as far if we were trying to play like the first chord of Smells Like Teen Spirit, an F power chord, it's your fingers have to spread out a little bit. As they make it up here, they're closer together. But even easier, you've got the E power chord and the A power chord where you only need one finger and you're utilizing the open string. But if you imagined that the open string needed to be pressed down back here, you would see that the open e, open e and its perfect fifth looks just like the other power chords. But the thing is, I don't need to put a finger there, so it's just that. So thus, I change it to my pointer finger. So the last little tip here um, is the transition between E power chord and A power chord is in, uh, you know, the beginnings of blues, early rock and roll, and then especially like ACDC, okay? So this is more along the ACDC inspired little riff, but you have an E power chord, and you have that A power chord. And if you can't mute the other strings, just try and hit just the two strings with your pick. So what you wanna do is hit the E power chord, and then with your middle finger, hit this third fret E string. And then take that off over to the A power chord. Watch again. Then we want to do the backwards version, the reverse version, A power chord. Third fret E. E power chord. way that connects to early blues and early rock and roll say I wanted to play a C power chord, I would find uh, 
you can do them on the A string and the E string, but this is a big, you know, more of a beginner lesson. So we're just gonna stick on the E string right now, but a C power chord, I would find a C note on the E string and then play that fifth with it. So E, F, G, A, B, half step to C. And I said, let's play a C power chord. So that's eighth, the eighth fret is a C note. I put my index there. I put my ring finger a whole step up on that A string, 10th fret, and I hit those top two. So that's a C5, a C5, also known as a C power chord. So if I wanted to play C to a G, which is third fret, and then an A, which is the fifth fret, and then an F, which is the first fret, I didn't change one shape, right? I just literally just slid my hand up and down. So here's what they were, C, G, A, and F. That's like, you know, tons of that punk and kind of more poppy punk kind of thing, you know? Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you had a good time. Uh, thank you again for supporting Marty Music. Uh, don't forget about that free power chord course from martymusic.com. It's not on YouTube uh, in that first comment down there. And hope to see you guys later. Take care.